I will show you how to install whole Simbran direct motor to our flat simmer. Install the motor with cable facing down. There are two flat spots on the shaft of the motor. The shaft coupling have two screw holes for fixing the motor shaft. There are holes on the hand pulley. Those indicate extension of the flat spot. Insert the motor with the screw holes on the shaft coupling and the holes on the hand pulley aligned. Attach the motor body and bracket with 4mm hex wrench. Be careful not to move the hand pulley. Tighten the screws diagonally and evenly. Make sure that the whole position of the shaft coupling and the whole position of the handle pulley are on the same line. By installing the bracket first and the shaft coupling, the load on the motor can be minimized. The position of thread stand should be as close to the sewing machine as possible. It is necessary to make the thread flow naturally. Install the thread guide in the accessory box. Pass the thread through the thread hole and check if the thread flows smoothly. If the thread is caught, polish the thread hole with file. When threading the needle thread, we recommend that you thread it through the two holes in this way. Because those two holes remove the twist of the thread. Next, I will explain how to put oil. Flash Seamer's oil pump is located here. Therefore, so-called prime the pump is required. Take out these two screws. These two screws are linked to the pipe between oil tank and pump. For flat seamer, please use our oil. Part number is 28-617. This oil viscosity is 68. For example, lock stitch oil is viscosity 10. Overlock and cover stitch is viscosity 22. If you use wrong viscosity oil, there is a chance to have oil leakage problem. For prime the pump, 
Please put oil in small container. It is in accessory box. Fill the oil in the pipe so that you can see oil coming out from pipe. After fill the oil, please close the pipe with screw immediately so that there is no air in the oil pipe. This hole is for this oil pipe. Tip of oil filter must fit to the oil hole in order to push oil into the pipe. Close the hole immediately so that air will not be in the pipe. Next, put oil here. This is the oil tank. Here also another place for the oil. Oil tank is here. Very small oil tank. You have to put oil to these two places separately. Oil is in the accessory box. This oil contains about 700 ml of oil. Please put only 100 ml of oil in each place. If you put more, the machine will be overflow with oil and cause problem. Many new user is making mistake by putting too much oil and leaking. Here also 100 ml of oil. There is oil level here. Remember only 100 ml of oil in each place. Make sure the oil coming out from oil window. Next, threading. For the needle thread, I recommend to go through two holes. At the tension set, there is hole on the shaft to go through thread. Make sure that all thread is going through the hole. Top cover stitch thread will go directly to this hole. This is silicon tank. You can fill silicon oil here so that needle thread can go through smoothly. Thread will go under this spring.
This is top carbonic thread and looper thread. If you need to change the amount or tension of covering thread, please loosen this screw and move this lever up and down. If you want to change the amount or tension of the looper thread, please move this eyelet. Next, I will show the correct position of thread take-up. When needle bar move 2.8 mm down from extreme high position, looper thread take-up should locate at this position. In other words, Looper thread has to release the tension after needle bar comes 2.8 mm down from extreme high position. Next, top covering thread take up. After spreader 19-617, catch the top covering thread, thread take up release tension of top covering thread. You can hear the sound of top covering thread caught by spreader. In other words, thread take up should hold tension of top covering thread until the thread is caught by spreader. From here, you can change the position of thread take up for the top covering thread and looper thread. Next, threading. As basic theory, you have to put looper thread first. Next, needle thread. The left thread near to the machine body should locate to right needle. The thread should go over this black bar. Do not go under. The hole on pressure foot should be used like this. Top covering thread, thread it to the back side, otherwise spreader cannot catch the thread.
if you put needle thread first, it is no problem. Just put a piece of fabric before you turn hand pulley. See how I do threading. After you did all threading, turn machine by hand and make sure that fabric is going forward and decoration thread, top covering thread, is caught by spreader. Set cover and slowly run machine. 